So welcome back to my kitchen, y'all. This is the second meal for this week, and I'm making what I'm going to call, actually, I didn't coin the term, but it's going to be sort of a goulash and with an Italian flair. I am actually browning two pounds of ground beef organic. And if you're having meat, I would recommend going organic to avoid so much of the hormones and antibiotics that, pe that the um, uh, meat industry is putting in the animals. So if at all possible, do that. Also, you can use meat substitute, make it your own, tweak it, use turkey if you want, um, sausage if you want. This is gonna be kind of a do your own, tweak your own thing. All right, and I'll be back and show you the rest of the recipes once my meat browns. Stay tuned. Okay, so now that I've drained my ground beef, for the goulash, let's move on with the rest of the ingredients. I have one quarter of cream cheese, one quarter ounce. I'm just gonna chop it up in there like that. Stir it around. So goulash is really I guess the unofficial definition might be putting it all in there together and making something of it. And that's what we doing. So once we get this cream cheese to melting, I'm gonna throw in my goulash. Some cheese, I happen to have some shredded cheddar available, so I'm just gonna do that and some Monterey, kind of mix it together. And we want that to melt pretty good after we stir it around a little bit. So it's keto and there's no carbs and especially Monterey Jack. Um, actually, Cheddar has maybe one carb in it per serving but you're good with Monterey Jack. So if you're gonna go for a particular cheese on keto without any carbs, Monterey Jack would be the primary choice. So now I'm gonna add in the Rayos, like about a cup of Rayos. And this is, I don't know, the last time I cooked, if you all could see the label, hopefully you could see that, R-A-O. It's the lowest carb pasta sauce, the marinara that I've seen out there. So you're gonna go ahead and mix that in there really good. Get it all blended. So the next thing we're gonna concentrate on would be our seasonings. And y'all know, most of the time I don't have any actual measurements for the seasoning. So you're just gonna, I'm winging it. So y'all can just wing it, tweak it to your own taste. So we're gonna do onion powder. And then I've got some garlic powder. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then some oregano, just a good dash of that. And then we're gonna put in some salt and pepper. Okay, so there it is. And we're gonna let this simmer nicely once we stir it all up, you guys. All right, so hang tight. So here's the goulash that has been simmering for oh, maybe 10 minutes. Doesn't that look simply delicious? Now, a lot of times people think of goulash, it brings to mind goulash with noodles, but since we're keto, we're not gonna be doing the typical noodles. We're going to be putting this on top of some herbed 
Parmesan garlic spaghetti squash. So I'll be back shortly to show you how we're going to make that. And it's going to be so yummy, you guys. So hang tight. So you all remember when I made spaghetti squash before, or if you're new to the channel, maybe you don't. So when you want to cook spaghetti squash, I personally need to microwave it for three to five minutes. Um, just to soften it so I can cut through the ends and cut it in half. And you're basically going to take out the seeds and the stringy parts that's along with the, the um, seeds and you're just gutting it. Now what's so cool about spaghetti squash is that you can just go ahead and take a fork after it has baked. So yeah, I forgot that part. So three minutes, five minutes, so you can cut it. Then you cut it in half. Once you gut it, you're gonna put some olive oil and then I put some salt and pepper in there. I turned it upside down on some foil and baked it 400 degrees for 40 minutes. And then you'll know it's done because when you stick a knife on the shell, it will go in easily. See how nicely um, it's looking like spaghetti so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of my shells like that and then I'll show you how to prepare the rest of this herbed garlic parmesan spaghetti squash that's gonna be um, going along with our goulash. All right, I'll be back. So to continue with this delicious dinner for tonight, we are melting a quarter cup of butter, yummy. And then I already have three cloves of garlic crushed. You can use mints out of the jar if it's easier for you. And since this is garlic parmesan, you want to make sure you get enough garlic taste in there. And if you're like me, that won't be a problem. This is a really simple dish. Really easy because after we just let the garlic get fragrant, I'm going to go ahead and add in my spaghetti squash. I used about a total of three to four pounds of the spaghetti squash. And it should be for a serving of eight. I'm going to link it in the description box below the video. So if you want to go ahead and check out the ingredients again, just refer to that. And now, we will add our Parmesan. I have a half a cup of Parmesan here. All the spices that we need calls for fresh parsley, but I didn't have any. So I'm using dry, not a problem, you can do that. And that also calls for basil. Fresh would have been way better because um, don't we love, or I do, fresh basil, but it's dry tonight, you guys. <laughs> so that just gotta do what you gotta do. That's what I had on hand and my a little garlic powder here, um, onion powder, and then I will add also some salt and pepper to our squash. And you're just gonna do it to taste however you like it. Sample it along the way, and it's easy peasy, really. This will go delicious with our goulash because it has a little bit of an Italian flair to it. Let's mix all of that together. That looks amazing to me. And um, once you put your goulash on top of this, um, you won't be missing your pasta. Well, at least I don't. I hope you don't either. <laughs> because if you're keto, you're gonna have to get used to something as a substitute for your pasta. Okay, we'll be back when everything's done. Bon appetit. So the spaghetti squash is done. Just topped it off with a little more parsley and basil. And um, that's going to be perfect underneath the goulash. I'll show you a picture of that when we're ready to eat. I would add some crushed red pepper because I like a little spice to my food. But if you didn't have spaghetti squash, you could easily pair this with the cauliflower rice. 
just you know stir fry that bad boy up in some butter and garlic and parmesan and that would suffice that would be yummy as well so i'll show you guys this plated and we'll see you soon bye hey y'all here is my goulash with the spaghetti squash garlic parmesan doesn't that look I'll have to let you know later what the fam decided on this dish. Bon appetit.